All right, what's up, everybody? Season six, episode twelve of Better Call Saul, called Waterworks. Um, I don't even really know what to say going into this penultimate episode. Actually, the one to the last episode, of course, for the show. It's uh, it's a little. I don't know, it's a little terrifying to me. I'm like really dreading sort of what the outcome of it all is going to be because of course right now it is not looking good. Saul entering that house, uh, well, basically, you know, breaking into it, even broke the window and stuff. So there will be evidence. Um, Is that guy going to spot him? What's going to happen there? I have a bit of a like prediction that I will make is that somehow I feel like him breaking into that house is actually going to go relatively smoothly. And he'll be able to get away with it, but it's ultimately Marion who, like, turns him in or something. Because Marion, of course, we saw those... They didn't focus on that for nothing, right? Um, Showing how she was getting a little bit suspicious, and she saw them outside in the middle of the night. uh, Seeing, you know, Saul, Jean, whatever, uh, telling the dude to shut the dog up and stuff. So really unfriendly seeming, right? So she's going to be able to find out, clearly. I mean, otherwise they wouldn't be teasing that, I would assume. And so I feel like she's ultimately going to be the one that kind of brings him down, might turn him in or something, right? They keep teasing a bunch of, um, (laughs) yeah, like right after the last episode, they essentially teased the police force or whatever arriving and a bunch of sirens and stuff, right? So is Saul going to be actually going to jail or what's going to happen here? Um, I will say that usually the teasers are full of misdirections, so it, uh, you know doesn't have to mean anything. Uh, It could be uh, something completely irrelevant that that's uh, referring to, but still, it's like, what's going to happen? Once again, I have have no idea, but um, I I just don't see a happy ending coming out of this, right? I mean, it'll be something, I feel it'll just have to be something bittersweet. That's what Breaking Bad did, that's what uh, El Camino did, like, all those endings were essentially always bittersweet. Like, those characters... Um, You know, throughout their journeys, they got a bunch of stuff that they technically had coming for them and stuff, right? But at the same time, there was still a small victory at the end or something, you could say. Um, I think that's kind of what's going to happen here. But still, I feel like the only only element that could make that ending bittersweet would would be Kim coming back into the picture for Saul, right? Like, that could be the one aspect where, um, yeah, well, exactly what I said... The problem is that we saw that phone conversation last time and uh, Kim wasn't having any of it. You know, she was <laughs> clearly very angry if it was Kim that he spoke to on the line there. I wonder if we're still going to see the other end of that phone call, actually. Um, but again, it's, it makes it very hard to see Kim still backing him up or possibly like, well, she isn't even a lawyer anymore, so she couldn't even defend him, I think. Uh, you know, if he, if he, if he goes to... Uh, yeah, if he gets picked up, I guess, by the police. So what's going to happen then? The only thing that I know is that going into Waterworks right now, they've teased, um, you know, they put up a, a little picture. And other than that, I've surprisingly managed to stay away from any type of spoilers or whatever. Or even I, I know that there were people who were able to kind of translate what the phone, what was being said in the phone call because of like a dubbed version in German or something. Didn't even look into that. So I, I managed to stay away from all of it. The only thing I saw was the picture that they shared yesterday. Um, showing the sprinkler company that Kim presumably works at now in uh, in Florida. So is this going to be a Kim episode? I don't think so, because we still have to see more of Walt and Jesse too, they said. So it's going to be a little bit of everything, I guess. You know, we're going to see Gene, we're going to see, um, yeah, Walt and Jesse again. And what's that? Uh, are they going to once again kind of make these connections, just like they did essentially last episode? I love how last episode with Breaking Bad, all that they did was kind of draw parallels right? Between Saul's situation now and then, and how it ties into each other, and how it's essentially the same thing. Super awesome, and I wonder if that's a trend that they're going to continue. Um, and yeah, what are we going to see of Kim? I think I've I've basically shared all my thoughts going into this, and we should just get started. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Guys, of course, before we do that, let me quickly remind you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll still be reacting to the final episode next week which is already uh, the title is already known it's called soul soul gone i think right yeah so uh i don't know man it's uh it's gonna be well it's gonna be at least bittersweet seeing the uh, this series and ultimately the entire breaking bad better call soul universe come to an end uh next week man i i yeah uh, i don't know I'm, I'm like excited but at the same time a little bit sad about it but with that being said let's dive into season six episode 12 of better call soul <laughs> we the people <laughs> yeah. Do you have any idea what time it is? 
<laughs> Watch <laughs> middle of the night. Oils, Francesca. With a lobby full of people out here, and at eight o'clock, I am done. I don't care if the building burns down. I'm oh. Wow. Everyone can hear you bouncing that thing. <laughs> That's the sound of thinking. You should try it sometime. Doesn't doesn't care. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's only a, a fake pillar, of course, so it wouldn't do that much damage. I was always thinking he was going to get his desk uh, destroyed. Is it going to be possibly like a... Well, I don't know. A meet with Walt and Jesse, or he has some type of document here. So what is that going to be about? Oh... Uh... Damn, man, the divorce papers. Send her in. Is it actually Kim coming in for this or what? Damn, dude. So she did come to still visit him in that time and kind of see him as Saul Goodman. I was wondering about that already. With the intro and everything, it's getting just more and more sadder. Oh shit! She was almost unrecognizable, dude. What are these clothes? Oh my god. How's it coming? Good. Is this a new husband? I guess so. Looks about her age. Did you get the mayonnaise? Well, here's the thing. They didn't have Dukes. And I really like Dukes. Think this will work? I mean, technically it isn't actually mayonnaise, but... She married the local gas station, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just like close, she said. Right? What do you think? Should we give it a shot? Arguing over mayonnaise. I don't know. Different times. What do you think? Such a typical barbecue right here. If he just used the men and women separated, guys, talking about their own things. This. I've been having this argument five days a week. This place doesn't look too bad, though. I gotta say, that was a pretty nice view. That was fun. Yeah, that was. I don't know what Florida is normally like, but. I wonder if she found it fun. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dude, why do you have to say yep all the time? That's it right <laughs> oh, I thought the potato salad worked out great. It has I something really yep. sad about it. Like, huh. even though it's relatively it's happy when you think about it, like she's living a normal life, you know? Yeah, it does. But normal is also very boring in this TV show. Oh, hey, they opened a new outback down on Satellite Beach. You want to go Friday? Sure. It's a date. I still wonder if she's, like, acting? Or if she genuinely feels okay with this, you know? Well, I would think so. Otherwise, you know, you could have made different choices, I guess. I don't know. She's almost looking like Betsy Kettleman in the mirror here. <laughs> Palmco Sprinkler, yeah, that's the day job right there, I guess. Can you tell me the flange diameter of 212-17 backslash H? Is this where she's going to get the call coming in now? A three inch riser or just the two inch? What's the drug that makes you dance around and put a pacifier in your mouth? Ecstasy. Ecstasy. That's the big one now. I think that they Yeah, that's the big one. It's my sister's best friend's son. Oh my God. Don't you think you call the police? Yeah. I sure would. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by a Two bunch thousand. of Karens. <laughs> I made it with miracle <laughs> Oh my right? god. No, she's definitely adapted to the lifestyle, dude. She has no second thoughts whatsoever, I feel. Unless I'm just reading her all wrong, but... In all fairness, she was always kind of okay with this. It was just like, you know, back in the, in the HHM lifestyle. It was just that Jimmy kind of was our entry point, right? He gave her the opportunity to, you know, see a different side of herself. Yep. 
Kim, there's a Victor St. Clair for you on line three. Oh, no. Kim? Victor St. Clair. Yeah, okay. yeah, so what do you think about that? That's pretty rude. Here we go. Kim Wexler. Hey, Kim. You know who this is? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. So, how's Florida been treating you? I'm catching you between hurricanes, I hope. Hmm. What do you want? I don't, I don't want anything. I just think it's been a while. And uh, might be nice to catch up. Catch up? Is this the same yeah, phone call, though, I wonder? Yeah, okay, morning. it is. Not thinking anything in particular, just random thoughts, and bam, it suddenly occurred to me, it's been six years. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I, I couldn't believe it. This is sad, man. It's like, yeah, she, she, she is not ready for this. You might want to know I'm still alive. That's yep. the only thing she wants to know. That's still it. Still out here, still getting away with it. The feds couldn't find their own ass with both hands in a proctologist. Man. Me. Oh, hey, you're awake. You shouldn't be calling. Why not? What am I, tying up the line for important irrigation business? Come on, Kim, say something. You can call me an asshole. Yell at me. Just let me know you still got a pulse. Just say something. You want me to say something? Yeah. You should turn yourself in. To what? I don't know what kind of life you've been living, but it can't be much. Set a pot to the kettle. Nah, in all fairness. I gotta give props to her, man. You have no idea what I like, she turned it around, okay. and Saul obviously didn't. And, and why don't you turn yourself in? Seeing as how you're the one with the guilty conscience, huh? What, if, what is stopping you? Brings in the ground. Mike's in the ground. Lava's Damn. in the ground, apparently. You don't have to hold back on my account. They can only hang me once. So, so go ahead. Spill your guts. Put on your hair shirt. See what it gets you. Why are... Kim, why are we even talking about this? We're both too smart to throw our lives away for no reason. Just... Kim. I'm glad you're alive. Wow. Fuck, man. That's so sad. Yeah. Well, Saul was also just going at it with a completely wrong approach. Didn't want to understand. To yeah, just didn't want to understand that she Happy is done with that. Truly. Man, this episode so far, holy shit. Alaska? Oh. Oh, wait, she's in Albuquerque. Okay, that was just a nice reference, I guess. She just arrived here, or what? Is this the ticket booth? That's so sad with Mike not in there. It's nobody in there. Oh, it's, it's all automated now, I guess. Dude, they, <laughs> they are too good, man. How are you going to make me feel so much? By showing so little. Oh, this is where Saul sat. Not too many episodes ago. Wow, so she's actually going to this building. Why? She's trying to find someone? Oakley? Is this Howard's wife? Holy shit, I did... Sh what the fuck is happening? Kim? Hi, Cheryl. I'm out front. She gonna tell the truth? Is she actually, like, just ready to turn herself in or something? Or, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if she could... If she would go to prison for, you know... All these things, but... She's ready to just... Lay it on the table, literally. 
to some type of like statement a story It's gonna be a long read. Yep. Wow. Howard was murdered. Where's his body? She doesn't even I know that, know. yeah. I don't think they'll ever Any will they place? be able to find it ever. Will they search again? They'll search. Hmm, maybe knowing, well, I don't know, knowing that it's all connected to like Mike and Gus too. Sure. He... It... it all happened in an instant and he didn't, he didn't suffer. He didn't suffer. Yeah, he suffered <laughs> way too much before. The lies you two made up, the picture you painted. All he is now. That's all anybody remembers. I want to change that. Wow. What happens now? <sighs> Will you be tried? Will you go to jail? I don't know. I love this redemptive arc for Bernalillo County has my affidavit. It's up to the district attorney whether to prosecute. And she may not. There's no physical evidence. No remaining witnesses other than my ex-husband, assuming he's still alive. I could sue you in civil court. I could take everything you've got. Yeah. Why are you doing this? To make things right. So the question is, will Saul eventually Will she be able to get Saul to... Wow, to, to be... to go with her on this. You know what I mean? Setting things right? It's really hard to see now, but with some time and with Saul perhaps already locked up? Yeah, just having a complete breakdown. I swear, man, normally you would think that she was recording some kind of prank video for YouTube. But yeah, this is like the only situation where that could be entirely real. With this much baggage. Am we gonna cut to G now? Yep. Yep, breaking in. Yep, I told you, dude. He's gonna be able to get away with this. The dude is asleep. It's just that Marion knows. <laughs> Literally fell on the floor. Unless something goes wrong here, but still... <laughs> You've got some balls, if you're gonna do this. <laughs> Clearly a pretty effective hiding spot, although not quite effective enough. And Jeffy coming for him. Oh, what's he doing? Wasn't quite ready yet, I guess. Still gonna look for something? Oh no. Dude, did he just wake up? <laughs> what did he just do? Make a drink for himself? Oh no, what's... Oh shit. Is this cops?
Oh shit. Behind you, dude. Wow, he could have even made it still. Oh shit. It really was just his ego that got him into trouble now. Wanting to stay just a little longer for no reason. Nothing to see here. Yeah, that's that's police. Oh, he's gonna try and just knock him unconscious. Oh, he's falling asleep already. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking genius, man. The tension that they built. All for this. Wow, this music is fantastic. Holy shit. Look at this bullshit. Look. They're not even focused on Jeff. Call that a fish taco. But could anybody call this a fish taco? I mean legally. Stop waving us at me. And this. This is some bullshit. I'm telling you, I got half a mind of going back over there and seeing somebody in the <laughs> Jeff, you fucking Oh my god, man! He was so nervous, he was like, oh my god, just thinking they were onto him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Honestly, this is only something the new Jeff could do. The old Jeff would not have done this. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be such an idiot? Oh my god. Back to the office scene. Is she gonna run into Walt and Jesse, dude? It's it's happening. I was gonna say about the previous scene, but I love how it showcases the difference in perception we can all have about each other. Jeff was living in a whole different world than those two cops. I mean, judging by our hair and everything, I would think that this... This is still closely following the fun and games episode. So it's not even where Walt and Jesse are in the picture yet. What do you think? Pretty great, right? So... Florida. Florida, Florida, Florida. Why there? I guess it doesn't matter. Doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you. I think you're gonna regret not taking your share of the sandpiper money. And then by a shitload of swamp. Saul's so still trying to wigger her in all the time, man. It's so sad. They're really making, trying to make us hate this guy in the last couple episodes, man. Fuck. I will um, file these tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a nice life, Kim. I understand, because, like, she is the one walking away. But still, she's doing it for all the right reasons, of course. That's just the thing. Yeah, honestly, it's just better not to say anything. There is nothing you can do to change him. Hey, sweet cheeks, who do we got next? Let's make some money. Emilio Koyama? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god, they got Emilio in here! Yo, he looks the exact same! Do no paperwork. <laughs> he doesn't do paperwork! I can't believe this shit, man. Give this man a nice bath, man. Last time it didn't end too well. <laughs> they had to throw that reference to in there. Oh, so good. So fucking good. I love how they just, they, they, they got them all. They got them all. The only one they didn't was QB. I don't think we're gonna still see QB anymore. But they gave him a mention. Jesse? It fucking is hey, Jesse. Hey, bump one of those. I wasn't even paying attention, dude. Thanks. 
Ah, oh, oh, because he was bringing Emilio too here. Like bananas all this rain. I mean, I thought we were like in a desert, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're a lawyer, right? Ah, I recognize you. You defended my buddy Cabo. Really? Christian Ortega, Juvie Court, Soul Baby Jesus. I mean, not like a real baby, just a, you know, one of those things outside of the church. Nativity scene. Yeah. Knights of Columbus. Hey, so you having all this expertise and all, this guy, Goodman, see the real deal? <laughs> like lawyer wise? <laughs> Uh, what's she gonna say? Anyways. When I knew him, he was. Oh. When I knew him, he was the real deal. Damn. What exactly does she mean by that? That he's not the same anymore? Or that she was mistaken? Damn, so now they can put the robbery on, uh, on Jeff too, I guess, right? Hello. Hey, uh, Dad. It's me. It's it's Jeff. Dad, I got arrested. Oh no! What for, Jeffy? It's like this crazy mistake, you know. I mean, I had an accident. Okay, uh, a little fender bender type deal. No, no big thing. The big deal part is, they think that I, me, yep. the robbery. Well, the police are obviously barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, no shit, wrong tree, wrong <laughs> forest. Exactly. <laughs> wrong wrong forest. Did they find any of this so-called stolen merchandise? Was it in your possession? No. Of course it wasn't, because you didn't steal anything. Therefore, since there's no evidence whatsoever that you committed any crime, I'd say you got nothing to worry about. Mm. So what happens next? Breathe deep and sit tight. I'll have you out by lunchtime. Mm. You coming down here yourself? Putting his lawyer skills <laughs> no, to practice. I think it'll be your mom. Oh shit! I don't think it'll be Talk your mom. For me. I sure will. Straighten it all out, no problem. Yeah, Marion ain't gonna want to hear this though. Oh god, that boy. <laughs> He's gonna put me in my grave. <laughs> oh, it's a mistake, is all. Getting picked up for something you didn't do—that could happen to anybody. We'll get him out of there, lickety split. Nothing about it. Well, money's not going to be a problem because I'm going to help you with that. No, Gene, I can't let you do that. No. Sure you can. Jeff will pay me back. And you don't have to worry about a bondsman either because guess what? In Omaha, they don't have them. Right? You just walk into the station, you pay a straight cash bail. It's not like Albuquerque at all. What about Buddy? Is he in any trouble? I don't think so. Why would he be? Why would Jeff go by himself? <laughs> I'll see you in about an hour. Yep, she's not believing it. Oh shit. Oh no, no, no. You're actually gonna put that laptop to practice? I'm not gonna be looking up funny cat videos, but funny lawyer videos and... <laughs> finding Saul on top of the results? What would she have found? Marion? <laughs> She's still looking. Marion! Oh! Hey. Hi. Oh, hey. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just lost track of the time. <laughs> Yo, no, not this commercial. <laughs> That's why I fight for you, Albuquerque. What's that? You tell me. Oh, shit. I typed in con man and Albuquerque. <laughs> and up you popped. Biggest day. Yeah, that was literally the first result. I mean, they're looking for him. So it makes sense. 
What are you doing, Marion? What do you think I'm doing? I'm calling the police. Here, let me help you with that. Listen, I think we're losing sight of the bigger picture here, okay? Oh Jeff is in trouble, God. and I want to help him. He and I sure could use your support here. What did you get my son into? Nothing that he didn't ask for. Now, listen, I'm still the good friend you thought I was, okay? Jeff understands me. Buddy understands me. And you will, too. I just have to, uh, you know, keep things on an even keel. So where are you going here at the end, man? What have you got there? Put that down. Final warning. I trusted you. No, Valerie, I'm not okay. There's a criminal standing in my kitchen threatening me. He's a wanted man, and his name is Saul Goodman. All right, Marion, I'm calling the police. I'm calling right now. Damn, man. Holy shit, what an ending. Fuck. Wow, I don't even know what to say after this episode. This was absolutely phenomenal. And it's just... I, I'm literally at a loss of words. Um, I think the, 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 the weirdest sort of revelation that I got, or, or a very strange like mind shift that happened to me during this episode, is that like all this time, throughout the entirety of Better Call Saul and of Breaking Bad, I was there like rooting for Saul you know what I mean I don't think even with all the fucked up shit that happened right and I fully like don't get me wrong I fully put the blame of Howard's death on on Saul like yes Lala was the one who killed him Saul got him there it's literally like Howard's wife said when Kim says oh yeah he didn't have to suffer no you already made him suffer in all the weeks and months before that like, this is the thing, Saul deserves everything that's coming for him. Let's be clear about that. But still, like, I could always somewhat laugh, I guess, or just feel, still feel good seeing him on screen and seeing what he was doing and how he was pulling it all off. And somehow this is finally the episode where it's like, it just like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, like I said, it's, it's not that I don't understand that everything he did always was very fucked up right because it was but now you just see this really i don't know when you see how he's going at kim how he's going at marion and how he's treating them suddenly it starts clicking with me like damn dude it's always not the he never was like i said but somehow now it's finally clicking with me that like yeah he's not he's not a guy that you should be rooting for he really isn't and um I don't know. I don't know. It's it's the, the the question that I obviously ask myself is now that we're heading into the final episode, and I can't believe it, but we're heading into the final episode next week. Um, I would think that there will be a small. It has to be. There has to be some type of redemption for him. That's the again. Like it'll be a glimpse. It'll be a literal glimpse. It might be the final minute of the episode where he does something that sets him on a right path. You know, like. It actually that would make perfect sense because they've always been talking about this bad choice road or whatever, right? He does one thing in the final minute of the show that puts him on a good choice road. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's kind of just how it's how it's gonna have to end or something. But um, everything leading up to it is just pure tragedy, and I love how this episode again. If you would put all the scenes on paper and just basically tell me in advance what it was going to be, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you're watching it all and you're just fascinated by it and you love absolutely love the direction of it this this show is like a five star uh restaurant constantly serving you with with meals or whatever every episode essentially right like this really is something else man i love how they 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 gave us like an extensive almost 20 minute look into kim's regular life now as a regular citizen and it was it was great 
<laughs> I was like on the edge of my seat the entire time, just seeing them once again talk about birthday cards and uh, uh, like the, the barbecue where, where her new husband or whatever was just talking to a bunch of his friends and she was talking to her friends. It's, <laughs> it's so great. It's just, yeah. I don't know, man. And then we saw, of course, the, 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 the other end of the phone call. Um, yeah, and she, like, that's the thing. This is, I was constantly asking myself during that scene, what is her state of mind right now? Is she missing her old life? What is she thinking? But really what it was is like, no, she accepted that this is what her life was going to be now. And guess what? She seemed relatively okay with it. The only thing that was still kind of weighing on her, I guess, is everything that happened with Howard and everything, you know, all the all the mistakes that she made in the past, because you can never escape those mistakes. And Saul reminded her of it through that phone call. And that's where she decides to, to, to put things right, I guess, right? And she actually goes and visits Howard's wife and breaks down literally um, in the bus there. You know, it's, it's, yeah. Again, it's like this solidified just Kim as the real sort of... Um, well, I don't know. It's just nice to see how she did undergo that growth process. The growth process that Saul clearly is not ready to accept and to um, want to take. Again, I feel like that's how we're going to have to end the show with him, like, finally accepting that he wants to put things right or something, you know? And, and again, we won't even see him go through it all, I would think. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's that it's 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 just that bit of information that would already do so much. I feel to us as the audience, right? Um, yeah, because Saul obviously broke into the guy's place, did manage to get away. Jeff. <laughs> Who could have ever seen coming that Jeff would would you know? So hilarious how he thought the police were onto him, and out of sheer nervousness, <laughs> just hits the gas <laughs> and immediately crashes into the car. Oh my god, genius scene. Uh, yeah, and now and now gets arrested, and again, Marion, just like I said, that that had to lead somewhere. Marion caught on to Saul, actually found him just immediately by looking him up on the internet or looking up Con Man Albuquerque. That's all that she needed to do, and would see the the the, the actual first ever commercial that we saw of Saul. I love that they used that, and that's what she found with the million views and everything. I would assume, <laughs> and a bunch of Breaking Bad fans in the comments. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's. Uh, the one, the one part that I can still touch on, I guess, a little bit is the the scene that we got with Saul and Kim um, signing those divorce papers and everything, right? And yeah, Jesse's showing up, but Emilio showing up too. I love that they got him in there because again, they've been able to get almost everybody in here. It's insane. Like people like Spooch, who would have ever thought we would have seen Spooch? Wendy, I never thought we'd see Wendy again. And now we're seeing Emilio too. The, the only, the only character, but again, I guess you you can never get everything, right? But like the only character I would have loved to still see was QB. I don't think we're going to see him anymore. Definitely not in that last episode. It's interesting though, because we're still going to see Walt in the last episode. Because they, they said there's going to be more of Walt still. And I think beforehand, we already knew there was going to be a scene with all of them together. A scene with Saul and, uh, or a scene with, 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 well, I guess people thought Saul and Jesse, but now it turned out to be Kim and Jesse. And a scene with Saul and Walt, apparently. So maybe they're kind of going to connect Saul and Waltz. Um, I don't know. They might go back to like, again, they might go back to something like the Brock poisoning, uh, or they might go back to them actually sitting there in the vacuum guy's uh, place, you know, and having that conversation. That's something I could see. But they're still going to make some connections somehow. So we're going to see Walt in the final episode. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, yeah. Uh, again, it's like, it's not even the thing that I'm most excited for, obviously. I'm most excited to see how they're going to end the story. And um, I don't know. I do think that the way they are making their connections has been fantastic, in all honesty. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really don't don't think I have that much more to say. This was a an amazing, amazing episode. Um, yeah. <laughs> one one more episode to go next week. And, that's, uh, and we're going to be saying goodbye to what has been easily the best universe and tv show history you know to me at least um and it's it's a little bit surreal knowing that that is what is coming up but for now i hope you all enjoyed the reaction let me know your thoughts in the comments of course make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell i would very much appreciate that uh, and then i'll see you all next week for the finale of battle console